Well, I trained as a lawyer. That's that's my original career, and um, but I'd always written for myself, you know, for my own enjoyment. And then when we moved to Singapore, um, I, I wasn't working as a lawyer for a while, and so it kind of gave me the opportunity to sit down and, and write, you know, just literally for my own enjoyment, and. And it became an obsession, I suppose. You know, I kept, I kept on and on and on. And then I found that I'd written a book. And then from that has led to, you know, sending it out and getting, getting a deal. I mean, I don't think I'm not, I write crime books. I'm not a criminal lawyer. I was a litigator. Um, so I wouldn't say that I use any kind of anecdotes or, or things, you know, I'm not John Grisham, um, you know, using things like that in my books, but I think as as a lawyer, you have a certain kind of brain and mindset, uh, quite analytical, and I think I probably bring that in terms of my plotting and kind of the way that I structure my books, um, and hopefully that's helpful. I mean, those skills are helpful in, in writing. Well, I think writing as a lawyer, yes, of course, the subject matter is hugely different, but it still involves a lot of discipline, and I think as a, as a novelist or a short story writer or a poet or any kind of artist, actually, you need discipline otherwise you will never finish anything so um, I think I approach my writing in the same way that I would approach going to an office every day so I have two young children I get them off to school and then I sit down at my desk and I work and um, you know you have to put in the hours and I think also with writing there's a um, an element of you know using your muscle your brain muscle and and you have to keep doing it every day otherwise you you get stale and out of practice so I think it's really important to do it every day and um, and and I always remember thinking to myself a novel is essentially 80 90 thousand words that's all you have to do you just got to get 80 90 thousand words down on paper once you've got those words you can play around with it you can you know they might be awful but unless you've got the words written um, then you, you've got nothing. So that's always my goal, is to get the word count.